Hi, and we're back. And a special guest with us today on the Martial Arts Today show is Master Matsuno. And Master Matsuno, it's a pleasure to have you with us nice today. To meet you. Yes. Um, from Japan. Yes, I am from Japan, Osaka. Osaka. Mm -hmm. And you now you've been in many places in the you know around the world. But as far as lecturing and talking, this yeah. is your first time to the United States for lecturing. Oh, yes, of course. All right. Yeah. We're going to cover a lot of things today, but I think the first thing I'd like to ask is, you know, I've heard some very good things, and I've seen some good things about your work and what you do. How did you get started in the martial arts? Well, my grandfather was the instructor of uh, uh, Soul Prey and uh, Naginata, and uh, staff arts and so on. Uh -huh. And uh, suddenly, uh, his just uh, uh, spirit happened to me, came to me in the dream. Uh -huh. So I just studied. But of course, uh, there was a chance to happen to uh, uh, headmaster of the school. Uh -huh. mm. So, so literally, you had a dream, oh, or, yes. and mm -hmm. that's what stimulated you to take up what your grandfather had done. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So your father hadn't. If yes, because uh, there was a kind of revolution in Japan, and uh, the system of samurai was abolished. All right. And uh, my father didn't learn, so okay. only scrolls just remain. All right. So I just own them. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, in regards to now, you work with the sword, and um, you talk to groups like I just started with. Mm -hmm. What do you talk about when you go and talk to uh, individuals and groups? Oh yes. Um, Yaido is uh, basically consists of sword first, and secondary jujitsu, uh -huh. and uh, thirdly the spirit of Zen, All right. and fourthly kiaijitsu. That means a quick decision. All right. So especially the spirit of Zen Buddhism, which is just uh, getting attention from all over the world, All right. and uh, through the so yeah, I do. I like to all the people in the world to understand uh, something about uh, Zen spirit because right. that would be good for the mental health especially. All right, so uh, unlike some, you're really bringing the heart or the foundation of mm -hmm. the philosophy. Oh, yes. And definitely. that is the, the mind and the spirit. Mm -hmm. um, and you said something um, like key, but it wasn't mm -hmm. key. It was, mm -hmm. what's the word? Instead of ki energy, it was quick. I said kiai jitsu. Kiai jitsu, mm -hmm. which is fast decision making. Oh, that's right, yes. So that's something you can learn. Oh, yes. To sharpen the mind. Yes, that's right. With the calmness of the mind, of course. That's a very important point, you know. All right, so the decision making, mm -hmm. although fast, mm -hmm. is based on the calmness oh, yes. of the mind. So you cannot make a mistake. All yeah, right. Yeah. We have a lot of people now, you know, yeah. we've talked about a lot of things on the show and there's more and more Americans mm -hmm. that go to schools and want to know about mm -hmm. philosophy and they want to know about mm -hmm. meditation mm -hmm. in the mind mm -hmm. because that was really that was really the strength of the martial arts in the beginning oh yes now all we see is the fighting sometimes oh yes yes uh, so far I have seen uh, American people just uh, enjoying karate especially yeah and uh, I just found out uh, they are very fond of fighting, you know, <laughs> and uh, just uh, people are very progressive and active. Yeah. But uh, uh, I think this is the time for you to look back in the past, All right. because now uh, what I want to show you has a long history of about uh, 300 years. All right. So uh, this time I brought a traditional art of Japan. Okay. So uh, based on the past, we can make a rapid progress, you know. All right. Uh, Meaning, I think uh, Yedo is uh, very, very helpful and useful to you. All right, so Yedo. 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 Yes. Okay, and and that is really the strength of what you're pointing out is to look to the past, mm -hmm. yes. understand what happened, mm -hmm. and that will help us progress faster in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Well, that makes sense too, mm -hmm. and I yes. think mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about that, mm -hmm. but they don't have um, well authority specialists like. Yes. Off, talking so, about it. Let me tell you something about the Yaido. Okay. The meaning of Yai is uh, to adjust one's movement to the enemies, defending right. oneself, right. and uh, which turn into offense, you know. Right. And um, it's a little similar to Aikido. 
Oh yes, yeah. of course. Every uh, every martial arts is uh, some similarity, you know. That's right. Yes, yeah. and uh, especially Yaido was regarded to be the highest degree of martial arts in Japan. All right. And uh, traditionally regarded to be the kind of a secret teaching, so closed. Close it, to a lot yes, of people. Yes, especially to the foreigners. Yes. So this time, uh, the uh, as you see. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this oh, this one, yes. yeah, this one here. just uh, uh, wrote about the um, 18 kinds of martial arts, and this book is uh, mainly written on Iaido. Uh -huh. So <coughs> I was going through yeah, some of this yes, earlier. which I translated into English, you know. Now you did the translation. Oh yes. Mm. No, because I'm teaching English at uh, preparatory college and I'm making use of my English ability. All right, so you I, teach I, English in Japan. Oh yes, so I like to to deliver the something traditional uh -huh. in Japan. So you know, from mid period, Japan has been accepting Western cultures and uh, made a rapid progress. So this time, I think uh, we we have to pay back. <laughs> so in that I mean just uh, I like going that. all over the world. You know. all right. So I've been to Australia four times and I this like is my it. first time in America. So in the near future, oh, I'd like to go to Europe if, to pos Europe. if possible. You've been to Australia and a few mm. other places yes, yes. and worked and mm. you'd like to go to Europe. Now mm. this book which you translated mm. and as you mm -hmm. say, Japan has accepted many aspects from mm -hmm. other countries. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking mm -hmm. to, you're looking to pay mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. and share. Mm -hmm. um, this is available in the United States mm -hmm. and primarily in France. Oh yes, uh, we made a printed 2,000 copies and uh, 1,000 were sold uh, were sold in France instantly. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now this book this here, book, you yes. translated this oh, one yes. too. Oh yes, yes. Uh, comparison Bushido. The Bushido means the way of warriors and chivalry. Comparison so, of Bu yes. Bushido and chivalry. Chivalry. Okay. So, now is this available here in the United States right now? Yeah, yes, I think so. Some of there's not a lot yes, of them. Some, no, no, some no, that we'd so, ha you'd yes, have to yes. look for. So in 1990, uh, at the Metropolitan Museum in New York, uh -huh. I hear they're going to have a samurai art exhibition. All right. So I remember just uh, presenting 1,000 copies okay. to the visitors. Oh, well, great! So now just uh, negotiating with uh, with the people in the museum. Okay. So now I like. Uh, uh, people in America, especially people in America, understand something about the uh, way of warriors in Japan. All right. And recently, ninja uh, has been very, very popular. Very. So uh, karate, aikido, and then ninjas, something like that, uh, going ahead, going ahead. So, yes. So this time, just uh, something very authentic, you know. Yes. Real spirit of samurai. With deep roots. Yes, I like to be understood by the people in America. And then I was just thinking mm. of deep roots, because you and I talked earlier mm. before mm. the show started. Mm. Uh, Matsuno means uh, pine tree in the fields. Oh, yes, that's right. All right, now how do you pronounce your first name? First name, Tsune Yoshi. Tsune means always having, and uh, Yoshi means the spirit of samurai. All right. So I think it's a very typical samurai name in Japan. Yeah, very nice. So I'm very happy to have Now, been. you do some teaching, mm. Um, one on one, mm -hmm. individual instruction with the sword. Yes. All right. Yes. Is that your favorite, or are there other areas that you like to, to work on? Well, besides sword play, I just uh, uh, practice uh, staff arts and some jujitsu and so on. All right. But, but the sword is uh, your favorite? Yes, I like this especially All because right. we can practice Iaido at any place, any time. Just on a piece of tatami mat, yeah. Just like a Zen priest, uh -huh. you know, Zen priest used to sit in meditation on a piece of tatami mat. Right. So you can practice yoga on a piece of tatami mat. Well, let's take yeah. just a minute mm -hmm. and and watch the monitor because we're mm -hmm. going to take a look at some footage of you working with mm -hmm. your sword. Okay? And we'll just mm -hmm. look right over here for just for a minute on this mm -hmm. monitor. Mm -hmm.
Now we will show that to you again in slow motion. Holy cow, that's great. Mm -hmm. That was really something. Mm -hmm. The moves you used with the sword, mm -hmm. are those like a kata? Oh, yes, just like kata in karate. All right. Yeah, same imagining kind of enemy, just a swinging sword. I see. So yeah. to invent one kata, someone used to uh, stay in the Shinto shrine, took six months. All right. One kata. Six months. Six months, one kata. Oh, yeah. Not like Americans, they make them up overnight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now, you did some cutting. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the purpose of cutting with the sword? Oh, yes. It's just like you break tires and blocks. And boards and blocks. stuff. Yes, yeah. yes. It demonstrates the strength of the sword and the, mo and the motion. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, is there, when the cutting is done, does the sword have to be a certain kind of sword to be able to do that? Like a samurai, does it have to be a traditional kind of blade mm -hmm. to be that strong, or can any sword do that with the right oh, motions? Oh, well, you know, Japanese sword is very strong, and uh, especially for cutting, we use old sword. I see. In, in Japanese, we say koto. Okay. So my sword dating back to uh, 16th century. Oh. So uh, have been used many, many times. And this is the one you use. Oh yes. Ooh, okay. In there. All right. All right. Ah, that All right. is the one. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm. Yes, that's very sharp. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, um, the sword of best quality is not allowed to bring out from Japan. So this is a working yeah. sword. At home in Japan, you mm. have oh, better yeah. quality. Oh, yes, that's right. But yes. because they're a mm. national mm. treasure, you can't mm. bring them out. Yeah, sure. Very interesting. But I like this one because it's very handy. You and like? It fits me well. And the shop. And the uh, style is very uh, slender, you know. Uh-huh. I probably belong to nobleman. Okay. Yeah. So you can, by the length of the sword and the shape of it, you can tell whether it was a nobleman or a farmer. Oh, yes, yes. And um, uh, probably this sword uh, never cut a man. All right. I can feel that, you know. OK. Yes, in case of uh, this, the murder sword, we feel something like a sinister, you know. Oh, really? Yes, uh, so the, yeah. they say in the mm. history of Japan mm. that the mm. sword is like the spirit of the person. Oh, yes, yes, spiritual samurai. Spirit of samurai. Spiritual samurai, yes. Okay. Yes. Is, now, in the future, mm -hmm. coming up, is there something you're looking forward to doing? I mean, you've done quite a bit already. Are you looking to do more? Yes. Um, I had in mind of just uh, um, establishing a kind of international uh, youth center. All right. Um, Maybe you know Australia or in America, big country, you know. Yeah. So the land is cheap. <laughs> where, I where? I, just, where? Uh, yeah. I, I, I want the young people, especially interested in martial arts, just to gather and uh, to be able stay to come and, and talk and and demonstrate and exchange cultures. Okay, it sounds and like a YMCA oh, of the oh, samurai. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. But, well, mm. I I'm gonna I want to get right to a, a very important question because mm -hmm. uh, you've shared so many positive things with us. Is there anything particular mm -hmm. you'd like to share with the young ladies and gentlemen that are in oh, the crowd? Oh yes, yes. <clears throat> now uh, young people, especially in the United States, are interested in, uh, in practicing karate. They are eager to be strong. You know? Yes, strong, physically strong. Stronger. Stronger than the other people. Yes. But you know, um, in the martial arts, um, the strong man should help the weak. All right. That's a true spirit of samurai, you know. Okay. Never bully the weak. Yes. That's very important, you know. So the true, the true key to being strong is mm. being willing to help others. Oh yes, that's right. So, so that's so strength. through martial arts, train, train yourself. Train yourselves. That's very important, you know. All right. And when a strong man is, uh, for example, killing the weak, he'll be put in the jail, you know. 
injuring so should have to pay for that yes you know? yes so in that meaning just uh, discipline yourself in japanese uh martial arts is written as bu budo 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 so bu consists of just stopping the weapon stopping the enemy's halberd okay that's a true who is stopping the weapon okay oh, that's right so this is a very peaceful means of uh, okay so exercise you know so the yeah. the foundation that you again are bringing oh, up yes, is that yes. it's not to take or be aggressive, it's just to stop what's happening. Oh yes, that's right. And be and peaceful. And discipline oneself. And discipline oneself. Yes. That's very good. Yes. And whether it be in school or anything else, uh, yeah. discipline yourself. Yes. The martial arts teaches that, and that's yes. its primary function so, in traditional one more schools. Thing. Training martial arts, you concentrate yourself. So concentration. Yes. That's very good for the people, you know. Yes. Forgetting everything. Yes, concentration. That is, that is the spirit of Zen, nothingness, you know. Yes. Yes. Concentration is self-discipline. Yes. In that meaning, just uh, training martial arts is good for health, yes. especially mental health. You know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think people, for, mm. we, we try to remind mm. everybody in mm. traditional schools mm -hmm. that you train not for just men physical health, but mm -hmm. you train for concentration yes. and mental health. All right, that's right. All right. Well, I know right. we're... We're, uh, we're going to have to wrap it up. It's really been a pleasure, mm -hmm. sir, mm -hmm. uh, having you with us today. Mm -hmm. um, I hope your tour here in the United States mm -hmm. goes well and that you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to come back. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, pleasure. I enjoy for being with, with us. Yes. yes, sir. And there we have it. It's been a pleasure. And we're going to have to go right now to a short commercial break, and then we'll be back with more on martial arts today. The Martial Arts Today show aired on NBC for 12 years, reaching over 3 million homes in the United States and Canada. Its host, Grandmaster Clifford C. Crandall, Jr., traveled to 22 countries covering diverse martial arts styles and events. Grandmaster Crandall is the founder of the American Martial Arts Institute and American Eagle Style. He has made numerous contributions to the field of martial arts, producing instructional videos, books, including the American Eagle Style textbook and the American Eagle Style Self-Defense DVD. These resources share the American Eagle Style with the world and help its instructors teach its students. In addition to traveling around the world as host of the Martial Arts Today show, Grandmaster Crandall has led several martial arts teams on international cultural exchange tours. In 1994, he coached and led the first American martial arts team to perform by government invitation for the People's Republic of China. The team carried letters from President Clinton, Vice President Gore, and numerous senators and congressmen. The presidential letter was read before each performance. A 30-minute documentary was produced to chronicle the trip and its historic significance. He led similar trips to Russia, Japan, Australia, Italy, and the Caribbean. Grandmaster Crandall has appeared in many martial arts magazines, promoting safety and awareness for people of all ages and abilities. He has promoted child safety internationally, is the Central New York spokesperson for McDonald's Corporation, and set a Guinness Book World Record for breaking boards while skydiving as a publicity effort for the need for child safety education. Grandmaster Crandall is also the headmaster of Takanuchi Hanganru Matsuno Crandall, a 300-year-old Iaido style. Grandmaster Crandall's certified position entitled were bestowed to him by his late instructor, Headmaster Tsuni Yoshi Matsuno, during a traditional ceremony in Japan in June of 2002. Grandmaster Crandall has documented these styles in both textbook and DVD format. Prior to becoming a full-time professional martial artist, Grandmaster Crandall was a superintendent of schools, a high school principal, an elementary school principal, and a classroom teacher in the state of New York. To learn more about Grandmaster Crandall and the American Martial Arts Institute, visit www.amai-eaglestyle.com.